Intermediate Algebra for Statistics, Rate of Change, Part 3, Lesson Objectives, Explain the Rate of Change or Slope in Words, Identify the Slope and Y-Intercept of a Linear Equation. Lesson Objective, Slope Addition Property. For a linear equation of the form y equals mx plus b, if the value of x changes by 1, then the value of y changes by the slope m. Now you got to remember m is going to be a number. In other words, if an input increases by 1, the output changes by the slope. So if we're asked to interpret slope, here's sort of a template that we can use. We can say as the x variable increases by one unit, the y variable increases or decreases, and that determines if it's a positive slope or a negative slope by m units. And m is going to be a number. Let's do an example. Use the slope of the previous example in the video where m was equal to 0 0.17. Now we begin by saying slope is a comparison of the rise over the run. So this is 0 0.17 over 1. If you recall, t is the number of years since 2000 and s is the yogurt sales. The units for t is years and s is billions of dollars. So to interpret this slope we would say as the x variable increases by one unit the y variable either increases or decreases by m units. So in this case we would say as the number of years since 2000 increases by one year the yogurt sales increases by 0 0.17 billion dollars. Less objective. Example 7. A line containing the points listed in the table. Find the equation of the line. So we have our x values and we have our y values. And if we want to find the equation of the line, we want to find m and b. So we can put it in the form y equals mx plus b. Now from the table, the y-intercept b x was always 0 and it's the value of y. So when x is 0 we see that y is 15. So 15 is our b. So now we need to determine the slope. We know that as x increases by 1 the slope is how the y is changing. So as x increases by 1 the y value actually decreases by 6. So therefore the slope is negative 6 over 1 or negative 6. So the equation would be y equals negative 6x plus 15. Example 8. The cost of a one-day car rental from Horns Rental is given by the formula C equals 31 plus 0.13 M where M is the number of miles that the car is driven 0 0.13 is the cost per mile driven and C is the total cost. If Sam drove a distance of 110 miles in one day, what is the cost of the car rental? So we have our two variables here, M and C. M is the independent variable, C is the dependent because total cost depends upon the miles driven. So the question asks if Sam drove a distance of 110 miles. So we are given a variable here. Is this variable C or M? Well, we're asked to find the cost. That's the unknown. M is the number of miles driven, so that's 110. So we would take the equation. C equals 31 plus 0.13 times the number of miles, which is 110. We multiply before we add. This becomes 1430 
plus 31. Now we add and we see that this is 45, 30. So the answer is 45, 30. The next question asked how many miles traveled if the total cost was $64.41. This question we want to find the number of miles and we're given total cost. So C is $64.41 that is equal to 31 plus 0.13 M. Solving for M we have to subtract 31 to both sides. So we have 33 41 and that equals 0.13 M. To get M by itself we have to eliminate the 0.13 so we're going to divide by 0.13 So our answer is 257 miles. Now the next part of the question asks to explain the slope in words. And we say as the number of miles, which is our independent, traveled increased by one mile, that's the unit, the total cost increases by 13 cents. Example number nine, you read in the newspaper that the river is polluted with 2,855 parts per million of a toxic substance and local officials estimate they can reduce the pollution by 15 parts each year. A. Derive an equation that represents the amount of pollutants, P, as a function of time, T. B. Explain in words what the slope means. And C. The article states that the river will not be safe for swimming until the pollution is reduced to 40 parts per million. If the cleanup proceeds as estimated, in how many years will it be safe to swim in the river? Let's start with A. So P as a function of T this means T is our independent, our dependent is P. We know that right now when T is zero that the starting value is 2,855. So that is our B. When T is zero it's the value of P. Now we need to find our slope. In this case they tell us that the pollution will be reduced 15 parts each year. So that means for every year P is going to decrease by 15 parts. So our slope is a negative 15 per year. So it's going to reduce, it's going to decrease for every one year. And years is the units for our independent. So our slope's negative 15. So the equation would be y equals mx plus b, but in this case y is p. p equals our slope negative 15 times our independent plus our b. 2855. So that is the equation for the model that's fitting this description. Now if we explain slope in words we would say as the x as the number of years increase by one year the pollution in the river will 
decrease by 15 parts per million. That's the units for P. Part C, we want to know in how many years will it be safe to swim or when P is equal to 40 parts per million. Using our equation, we have 40 equals negative 15 T plus 2855. Solving for T, we have to subtract 2855 to both sides of the equation. So this becomes a negative 2815 and we have a negative 15 T. So when we divide by negative 15 we have T is equal to 187.7 rounded off to one decimal place. So what does that mean? That means 187.7 years from now it will be safe to swim in the river according to this model. Thanks for watching.